Windows are a problem for birds because they don't necessarily perceive the glass in the same way that humans do. They don't see that there's a barrier there. Or conversely, they may actually see habitat reflected and think that it is actually trees or sky that they can fly into. So this puts them at risk for collision. We know from research that upwards of a billion birds every year are subject to collision with glass on buildings. What we want to try and do is increase the visibility of glass or reduce the reflection that birds see on the surface of the glass. So there's a variety of different ways that we can do this. What you really want to think about though is trying to get some sort of a mark on the outside of the glass rather than on the inside. And you want to have the spacing be as close together as possible Again, based on research that's been done on optimal spacing, I have no more than four inches of space between vertical markings and no more than two inches between horizontal markings. And we call that the two by four rule. If you're dealing with even smaller birds, you may wanna go down to two by two. You are limited in the type of markings only by your creativity. So you can use paint on the outside of a window, you can use films that have been specially designed to prevent bird collisions. You can hang string in front of your windows to create some of that visibility and break up the reflection. You can use simple window screens to do this as well. Not every window is going to create a problem for birds. So sometimes it has to do with where the sun is in the sky, how it creates reflection in the glass, how it shines through the glass and makes it less visible or sometimes more visible. So it's important to remember that, that not every single window on a house or a building may be a problem. Scoping out the issue is really important. Identifying where those problem windows are is key to addressing the problem effectively. Sometimes we have incidents where birds interact with window glass, not because they're not aware of the glass being there, but because they see perhaps a very handsome competitor who's reflected in the glass. And in that case, it's a territorial behavior rather than a collision, for example, that might happen during spring or fall migration. In that case, the bird's often very persistent and it may take a little more effort to actually really hide that reflection from them. And in that case, one of the best things you can opt for is a screen that really blocks that reflection. Artificial light at night, which are again, our built landscapes are absolutely filled with, is really closely tied to this problem of collisions and the issue of collisions specifically with glass. So one thing that we do know is that artificial light coming from urban areas can actually draw birds in during migration into these more urban landscapes that puts them at higher risk of collisions with glass. So anything you can do, especially at night, during those prime times for migration in spring and fall to turn out unnecessary lighting within buildings and on the exterior buildings can help reduce this risk to birds. For more information and links to other resources, refer to the video description below.